Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear everyone, brothers and sisters, daughters and sons, colleagues and friends, comrades and fellow men and women, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am envying all of you because you are in a country that I love with the people that I adore and learning from teachers that I wanted to be with them all my life. I saw your photographs on my uh, WhatsApp and Facebook and I wish I was with you but unfortunately I could not be able to be with you because I was very busy doing something else. But next time, be sure that I'll be with you to learn and to be mentored by you, to learn from you and be mentored by you. Our journey to South Africa remind me of my first journey to South Africa in 1994-95. When Islamic Cliff was in a deep water and we wanted to raise funds. So during this year of 1994-95, maybe 1995, I was told to travel the world to find resources for Islamic Cliff. I went to South Africa. I went to Malaysia, and I went to Latin America. The same year, between summer and autumn of 1995, to discover the new land. And we discovered the new land. And alhamdulillah, now we have office in Malaysia, we have office in South Africa, and to have a lot of friends in Latin America. We hope one day we'll have a few offices there. Don't be put off lack of resources. Because when we started Islamic Relief nearly 40 years ago, there was no resources. There was no big names. There was no big organizations behind that behind us, but no big budget or big donor, nothing. But we believed in one thing, that we can do it. And we said that we will do it, inshallah. That's why we did it at the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah was making the dialogue with the angels, about Adam. And they started to argue with him. Oh Allah, are you going to atajal fiha man yufsud fiha wasf kuddama? Oh Allah, you're going to create this individual like those before who were killing one another and destroying the life. And we make tasbih and dikr to you. He told them, I know what you don't know. Then he taught Adam the names of the subjects which can extract the secrets of life from the depth of earth and the height of the skies, the sprawling universe. These names of objects it about science, technology, astronomy, economy, Agriculture, industry, education, politics, arts, media, history, religion, religious subjects, and others. Then he told the angels to name them. They failed. Then he told Adam to say them or to mention them. He did. Not only that, 
to enable Adam to become the master of humanity and the master of the creation of Allah and having the professorial leadership of all the creation of God. He has to put some other criteria at the back of the mind of Adam, our father Adam alayhi salam. Talents, pioneering, ability, here. Many talents, many pioneering directives at the back of the mind of Adam. Genetically, we have been inheriting them. He gave Adam this talenting, pioneering capability to enable him and his children and his grandchildren like us today to discover the wealth at the depth of the ocean, at the depth of earth, the seventh earth, and at the height of the seventh sky because of the talent and the pioneering capability and the ability of Adam. Your journey to South Africa, not a journey that you feel pity for others. Never ever say that. Because those others are much stronger than us. More patient than any one of us. More generous than any one of us. And they still suffer, but they, they receive us with open heart, open hand, open feeling. Say, welcome. Smile from them is the big charge to us. A warm feeling from them is sadaqa on our life. And a cracking jokes or a song from them is something which is motivating us all the time. When you go to visit Robin Island, don't feel pity for Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, in his win, in his isolation in this cell for more than 27 years, he was stronger than the tyranny of the dictatorship apartheid regime. He was more stronger. He was alone. But his belief in his mission, his country, was far more stronger than the mighty power of the arms and the money and the decision that those tyrant leaders from the apartheid regime was doing our people in South Africa. And he won. If you want to win, you have to be a believer. Believer in Allah. Believer in your community. Believer in the purpose for life. Believer in yourself. Believer that you can fulfill your mission. Believer that you can succeed. Believe that you can discover all the talents that Allah has embedded at the back of the mind of the brain of Adam and the soul and the spirit of Adam and transferred it to us. If we do that, nobody can stop us. Once you bend your back to others, you bend your back forever. Don't do it. Don't ever do it. Stand for a purpose. A purpose for life, life to give for every living creature. And you are the children of Adam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you custodian of the universe. Universe that we know and universe that we did not know. You know why I put the pyramids behind my back? Because my ancestors have built them long time ago. What I'm doing now. Don't cry on the past. Don't cry on what our great grandfathers and parents and mothers 
have done of achievement of civilization came from different parts of the globe. Don't cry on the past which you are not a part of it. Cry on the present time that which you are a part of it and we fail to change it. Cry on the future that we need to build for generations to come. This is what we need to cry for. If we live for a purpose, life will be living with us in our graveyard, in our life to come. Life cannot be living for anybody else unless this anybody else can give his or her life for the life of the other livings. This is the message from South Africa. This is the pioneering of Nelson Mandela and his people who made the whole world to stand up on their feet for nearly 30 years of a struggle. Struggle for freedom, struggle for humanity, struggle for peace, and struggle for life, to save life for others. Adam has been given all these talents and pioneering capability, and it's in me and in each one of you. You, sister, at the back, you have to believe in yourself. You, brother, in the middle row, or in the front row, here, I can see you not listening to me because either you are distracted by some thought and the illusion or you feel that I'm boring and I'm always boring as I get used to get this comment from others. But I don't stop. Whether I'm boring or non, doesn't make any difference. A da'iyah, like each one of you, a man and a woman, like each one of you, who has a message to deliver, nobody can stop her or him to deliver their message. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, was left alone in the middle of the desert. You know what Allah told him? وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ Make Adhan. Make Adhan, Ibrahim. In the middle of the desert, thousands and thousands of years ago. And people will come to you on foot, on horseback, on camel. Thousands and thousands. Now there are millions and millions from the first Adhan that Ibrahim stood alone to make it in the middle of the desert before internet, Twitter, social media, Wi-Fi being created. Adhan Finnas, the one who will let everybody in the universe to hear your Adhan is him. Him is the one is going, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to change your talent and pioneering ability and capability into action if we have the right intention. We are not coming to South Africa to see animals in the zoo or to feel pity for my brothers and sisters, my sons and daughters in South Africa. Never. We are here to learn from them what was and what is their message. We are here to take their message and make it our mission. We are here to have a new objective in our life and for our life. And we are here to be truly sons and daughters of Father Adam السلام, and the student and disciple of Muhammad وسلم, the savior of humanity وسلم, and the people who can understand Quran and live for Quran, live by Quran, and live to establish humanity on Quran on earth. This is the message from South Africa to all of us. You are Muslims, do what we need 
and listen to this. Give what you have to get what you want. If you don't get what you have, if you don't, if you don't give what you have, you will never get what you want. And listen to this again. If you live for others, you live forever. If you want to live forever, live for others. Others could be any other. Because others is a multiplicity of people, of creation of God. Animals, birds, climate, seas, ocean, and human beings. This is my message to you, my dear daughters and sons. You know why I'm believing all the time that I am not going to die? Because you are here in South Africa. Forty years after we started this journey. So if our body decays and our soul is risen to Allah, you carry on the mission and you keep spreading the message. The message of peace, love, safety, caring, sharing, building, communicating, empowering, listening, learning, and being taught by the community that sometime we could look at it miserably because they look different to us. Their colors is a God-given color. Beautiful black, beautiful brown, beautiful yellow, beautiful white. It's God-given gift. You have nothing to do with it. Don't feel arrogant because of your color, of your silky hair, of your good looking. Moses السلام, was a black man with a big nose and with big ear, curly hair. But the wife of Pharaoh loved him because Allah led her to love him. So it's not your color which can let people to love you. It's Allah and what's in your heart which can make people to love you. I love you. I love you, sister. Yes. On this side, yes, I can see you. Don't giggle anymore. I love you, brother, there. Mm, don't keep playing in your fingers. I love you, sister, at the back, who are hiding, who's hiding from me. I love you, sister, in the front. I love all of you, brothers and sisters, whether you giggle or don't giggle. Listen to me or not listening to me. One day, you will listen to us being mentioned to you by others, and they say we regret not listening to them when they were alive with us, but who are going to live their mission alive, and you will make it. Because I believe that each and any one of you in this room with uh, money, which money is my name, and with uh, Joe, which is Joseph, and the other people, my beloved brothers and sisters in South Africa, I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and Amandla, Amandla, Amandla. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.